I'm Akifusa Kogure, and six months ago... Hello everyone, my name is Kana Midorikawa. I'm looking forward to studying with you all from now on. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. A girl with looks so beautiful it made me doubt my own eyes transferred into my class. And suddenly... Kana, what are your hobbies? What are your favorite foods? Do you have a boyfriend? She was mobbed by guys. Of course, the question foremost on everyone's mind was really only that last one. No, I don't. Yes! Hello, true love! Um, what? That's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's nasty. Things suddenly got a lot less quiet around here. And the poor girls were obviously not happy that all the guys in class were tripping over themselves for Kana's sake. Jeez, this is only gonna end badly. Smile! Yep, this isn't good at all. I'm sure she knew all about how beautiful she was herself. And if she could still carry herself with that much grace and politeness, she'd have to be pretty strong. And now, in the present. Akifusa, would you like to eat lunch together? For some reason, she wouldn't stop following me. By the way, it seemed like every guy in the class besides me had completely fallen for her in the last six months. And her fans weren't limited to my classmates either. People in every grade were absolutely smitten. Ah, uh, give me a break. If we do, every guy in the building will be looking at us. But none of the other girls want to hang out with me, and as for the rest of the guys, well, you know... At that, she turned to look around us, and I followed her gaze. If they're going to glare at me like that, I don't know if I can really eat in peace. Yeah, fair enough. Their eyes were so filled with rage, they were becoming bloodshot. It was pretty scary. So you want me to drive them back, huh? Wouldn't you like to have a nice, relaxing lunch with me? I think it'd be more relaxing if you weren't around. Sorry, I know it might be asking too much. <sighs> she really was a strong person. In any case, I just wanted to eat in peace myself, so I cleared everyone else away. No matter what anyone else says, you really are a nice guy, Akifusa. When we went to the roof to eat our lunches, Kana suddenly said something I wasn't expecting at all. Huh? Why? Because you chose to accompany me like this without even complaining once. If I had complained, would you have gone somewhere else? No, I don't think so. What a refreshing smile. Yeah, I figured. So why would I even waste my breath? Still, I like spending time with you a lot, you know? Yeah, I get it, because I'm quiet and I send all the other loud mouths away, right? No, not at all. You feel like just peaceful and calm to be around. That's the same thing, isn't it? In other words, things are so noisy around everyone else that she can't hear herself think. And after I send them away, it's quiet, right? So, what do you say? We might as well just start dating, right? Huh? Do you have any idea what you're saying right now? Of course I do. I mean it. I really like you, Akifusa. You can be blunt, but I see how much of a nice and caring person you are deep down. I don't get it, but this has to be some kind of lie, right? Of course not. Why would I lie about this? Besides, at the risk of sounding quite conceited, I'm fairly popular, wouldn't you say? A lot of guys have already asked me out. So I must be charming enough for that, at least. So 
Don't you think we might be a good match for each other if we started going out? Uh, I think I'll eat by myself after all. Huh? Sorry, but I don't really think of you like that. And I already have a girlfriend anyway, so unfortunately, I can't go out with you. And with that curt remark, I left to eat my lunch somewhere else. Huh? After school... Why are you here? <laughs> Hi there! For some reason, I opened my door to find Kana standing there. I heard you were living alone, but I guess it's true, huh? Uh, did you want to ask me something? I really don't like liars, you know? What? I can come in, right? With her like this, I couldn't exactly refuse. The way she was staring at me, I was kind of worried about my own safety if I did. Basically, I was scared. Hmm... Kana? What are you doing? There's no hint of a girl's scent or things here at all. In fact, there's not even a single sign that a woman's ever been here in the first place. You weren't lying to me before, were you? Uh, of course not! I really do have a girlfriend! Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. She's not gonna completely lose it and start stalking me or something, is she? Tell me the truth. If you do, I can still forgive you. Uh, like I said... <laughs> Alright, let's think about this rationally then. If you do have a girlfriend, why would you go so far to help me out? I don't think I was being overly considerate or anything. Well, you agreed to eat lunch with me alone, didn't you? And you specifically said that you had a girlfriend, so I know you must like girls. So unless you have any other excuses... She already realized it was just an excuse! Fine, fine, I give up. I was lying, okay? I just said I had a girlfriend because I didn't want to hurt your feelings when I turned you down. But why would you feel the need to lie in the first place? I... I don't know if your feelings for me were genuine or not. And I didn't want to start a big fight or anything, so... I came up with that. Although, I guess that backfired on me. I'm disappointed in you, Akifusa. I didn't think you'd tell a horrible lie like that. I'm sorry. But how could I reciprocate your feelings when you asked me out on a whim like that? It wasn't on a whim. I put myself out on a limb for you. It took all the courage I had to tell you my feelings. And then you just turned me down right away with a dismissing lie like that. How do you think I feel? Crap. She's really pissed. I was sure that she wasn't thinking things all the way when she casually asked me out. But maybe she really does feel that way about me. She seemed like someone who could handle whatever comes her way. But I guess even people like her have their moments of vulnerability. I could tell right from the start that you didn't have a girlfriend anyway. Believe me, I already looked into it and somebody would have talked if you did. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be telling me about creepy things like that. But what do you mean you looked into it? Uh... Mm -hmm. uh, did you say something? Hey, don't you think it's a bit late to be trying to pull the wool over my eyes? You know I'm gonna be curious when you say something like that. Obviously, I've been considering going out with you for a long time now. Uh, don't blush like that. It's unfair! I don't think this was a calculated thing. It seemed like she really was getting shy all of a sudden. That was even more incredible. Anyway, since you were definitely lying about having a girlfriend, that means I can try to woo you as much as I want, right? That depends. What exactly do you have in mind to woo me? Oh, you know, just stopping by your house every day. 
And you're not taking any lessons or doing any sports in any clubs. And you don't have a part-time job either. So you're free after school every day, right? Don't you think you're acting a little selfish? What's selfish about wanting to make you meals every day? I'll pay for everything myself, of course. Besides, it looks like you could definitely use a break from all the instant food you eat day in and day out. Uh, I know you're a good student, but are you a good cook? How about I make you something tonight to prove myself? Maybe I seem like a stuck-up rich girl to you. But I'll have you know that I can do all kinds of housework, and I have faith in my cooking most of all. So is there a reason you needed me to go shopping with you? I haven't figured out everything you like yet, besides ramen, of course. I guess my garbage was filled with empty noodle cups, huh? Not just that. You go out to eat ramen every Monday and Friday, don't you? And you always go to a different place, depending on your mood. And how did you know that exactly? Trade secrets. She really scares me sometimes. Why don't we start with a nice veggie fried stir-fry? It's healthy too. Are there any vegetables you don't like? Nah, I'll eat pretty much anything. Great! After that, as we went around the store, Kana would ask me questions now and then and pick out ingredients. I can carry the shopping bags myself. Nah, let me handle this much at least. It's not like they're too heavy for me to carry. Hmm... Akifusa, you're so unfair. What? Why? You're always scowling, but you're just so nice. Girls love that sort of thing, you know? I'm just doing what anyone else would do. You'd think, but no. But the fact that you think so in the first place only shows how nice you really are. I get it now. So that's why you wanted to make passes at me. I wasn't just making passes, I really do like you. But I suppose it's only natural that you don't trust me. <laughs> just talking to her like this, I don't know why, but it's strangely comforting. After that, Kana went to my kitchen and began cooking. She's pretty good at this. I guess she wasn't lying about her skills. She might have been an amateur, but she definitely knew what she was doing. Dinner is served! Every plate and bowl in front of me looked fantastic. My already hungry stomach only felt more empty looking at it. I'm surprised. It really looks like something you'd see in a restaurant. To be honest, I thought the stuff you were going to make was going to be kind of scuffed somehow. And it's only more noticeable because it's food you'd eat all the time. Oh yeah. Well, thanks again. Oh my god, I've never had spinach namu this good before! <laughs> that would be my special sauce with lots of sesame oil. It's good, right? It's amazing! Maybe it makes the spinach taste go away, but when I found out about this, I knew I was on to something big, so I'm pretty proud of it. My image of spinach namu was something that was not very flavorful and slightly bitter and smelly. I thought that was just how it was supposed to be, but this was so delicious and just fit the rest of the meal so well. The mackerel also has the perfect amount of seasoning and a great texture. Well, it's the peak season for them now, so they just have the right amount of fat and freshness. Mackerel is my favorite fish. I'm glad you like it too. The food was so good, I couldn't put down my chopsticks for even a second. Thanks again. That was so good. <laughs> Any time. So, same time tomorrow then? I guess... After that meal today, I don't see how I could go back to my instant noodle diet. <laughs> Looks like that's one point for me this time. Mm, I still don't believe your feelings are genuine. 
but I couldn't deny that I was kind of happy. If I could eat like this every day, I'd be one happy camper. Oh, I can take care of the dishes too. Sorry, I really can't let you do that. I can do that much myself at least. Hmm. <laughs> then let's work together. Standing next to each other like this, we really feel like a married couple, huh? Are you okay? Don't just blurt out things like that! I almost dropped the plane! In other words, you're starting to realize how strong your feelings are for me then. Where'd you get that idea? Your reaction said it all. Someone's got a lot of self-confidence! Why shouldn't I? If she's this comfortable joking around, does she really like me? I had my doubts, but I had to admit I was enjoying myself more than I thought. In fact, I felt a strange comfort. I had to admit, washing the dishes next to her like this wasn't so bad. I should probably get going. Wait a second. Are you sure you're okay going home at night by yourself? Let me go with you. I don't live close by, though. That's all the more reason I should tag along, then. I guess I'll take you up on that. To be honest, I was a bit worried about walking alone at night, so I'm really happy you decided to join me. Then you should have just said that in the first place. You don't have to put on a brave face for me. I thought it wouldn't be good for you to show any signs of weakness. What's wrong with that? Besides, if something did end up happening, do you have any idea how guilty I'd feel? Every time I think I can't get any nicer, you surprise me. I'm telling you, it's not like that. You don't have to say that every time I do something you like. <laughs> Fine. I can go myself from here. I thought we were walking to the station. Wait, you are taking the train, right? But... No, not exactly. I really wanted to spend time with you today, but my place is actually two hours away if I were to walk. Then how are you getting home? I'm getting a ride. Of course, I don't mind my family finding out about us, but I'd rather it wait until after we started dating. So let's say goodbye here. Hmm, okay. But be careful. Thanks, you too. And Akifusa. Yeah? I really love you so much. I had so much fun spending time with you today. I can't wait to do it all again tomorrow. Jeez, you don't have to shout so loud. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow too. Oh, right. And with that, the two of us parted ways. Although, I stayed back and waited for her ride just in case. And then... My lady, please accept my sincerest apologies for my late arrival. A jet black limousine showed up, and she got in. She really is rich! No wonder she gave off such a regal air. After that, Every day was like this. Open wide! I told you not to do that! It's fine every once in a while, isn't it? I was completely at her mercy. And I guess partly because of that, the distance between us was only getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> guess I won after all, huh? Less than six months later, I'd completely fallen for her. It's not a competition. Oh, didn't you know? The one who falls in love first is the loser. Then I guess that means I won, doesn't it, babe? <laughs> I suppose so. That's fine. Because I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Since we both felt the same way about each other, 
it was only natural that we started dating. And of course, it goes without saying that the other boys at our school cried bitter tears when they heard about us. Even though everyone at school was jealous of us, I would still do whatever I could to make my girlfriend happy. <laughs>